Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here from the old Fuzzy Biker Garage, I guess. That's the uh, Hot Rod Himalayan right there. And uh, tonight we are going to drain the oil out of her. Come over here, we're going to pop the uh, oil filter out. Then we're going to remove the spark plug because it's got about 11,000 miles on it. Put a new spark plug in it. Put the new oil filter in it, and then reload that baby with uh, fresh oil. I call it dragon's blood. This is what we're going to be putting in it. There's the filter, and the spark plug we're going to be putting in it is a NGK Iridium. That's supposed to be one of those God spark plugs. It's supposed to make the world a better place if you have one of those. Anyway, after I get all that done, I'm going to take that hot rod out for a run. Wahoo! You all do the same. There's, there's the oil draining. Over here we've got this cracked loose already. This uh, got the long screw to go yet. The, oiled, the old oil filter out. Just throw that in there. Okay. Next step, spark. Okay, spark plug, get that popped off of there, if we can. Hard to do this with one hand. All right, let's see if I can get a wrench in on that. And I can. Hey, comes right out. I wonder if it was tight enough. There's the old spark plug. It's just barely brown. Any lighter brown, I'd be a little worried about that. But I think that'll work. And here's the new one with the iridium, iridium tip. So, old and new. Ta-da! And there's the new spark plug all installed. Let's get the boot on there and see what we can do. All right, if this thing doesn't run, that's the first thing I'll check. All right. There is the new oil filter. Let's get that hot rod in there. Here's the cover. Look how dark that oil is. It was bright red when I put it in there originally. Okay, I'll get this installed and I'll get back to y'all. The thing with uh, installing these, there's two short bolts and there's one long one. The one long one goes in this very bottom slot. Ta-da! That's where I drain the oil out of. There's a little screen in there and I did pull that out and clean it and it looked absolutely fine. Absolutely clear. And then this is the other end of it right here, and that's what I'll use. There's a little O-ring in there to seal it, and I'll wipe these all up real well, and then put it all back together, and then we'll put some oil okay, in it. Okay, time for some dragon's blood. Da, da, da. I think it takes a quart and a half or a quart and three quarters, something like that. I'm putting it in about a quart and a quarter, and then we'll check it. All right, I've ran the bike. This is the second time I've topped it off and ran it. Looks like it's about halfway in between on the camera. In real life, it looks like it's almost to the top line. So I'm going to call that good. Mission accomplished. Plug is in, boots on, oil levels up, filters on. Over here, got the cover on. A little bit of oil to clean up on the floor, no big deal. Hey y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We were in the Fuzzy Biker garage today and we're doing a little motorcycle work Sunday. Uh, the Royal Enfield Himalayan right there. I just uh, checked the valves. I was going to adjust them, but it didn't either. Just like I left them 5,000 miles, 6,000 miles ago. So no need to do anything at 12,000 miles. The valves are dead on. Every time I pop this thing open, they've been within spec. So uh, I didn't uh, have to do anything with that at all. If you look here, you can see that's the exhaust valve right there. It's got one exhaust valve and then one intake valve. And there's the intake valve back there hiding. But uh, also did a little work on the vent system for the gas tank. I was having a little trouble with that. 
every now and then my gas tank you'd pop it open and just make a big noise but uh, anyway I think I'm gonna take that hot rod for a spin. Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker here. La Rosa, the hot rod Himalayan with a fresh oil change. The thing's just running like a champ. Beautiful day for a bike ride, about 80 degrees. Just a lovely, lovely, perfect. Went to Omaha on that hot rod today. That thing is an excellent city bike. It just does, it's very comfortable in the urban environment. It's great on gravel, it's great on dirt. It's just all around good bike. Uh, this shelter here is, uh, there are a lot of these popping up. They're modeled after grain bins. I was full of grain bins like this for storing corn. And uh, now they're making shelters and even little homes out of them. But uh, out here at this beautiful little lake outside of Harlan, Iowa. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Life is short. Get out there and ride. Wahoo!